Welcome back to Bound News Network. Uh, we're actually taking a closer look at the weather here um, affecting the continent of the United States. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please by all means go ahead and like, share, and subscribe uh, to Bound News Network. Uh, we bring regular updates as far as uh, weather forecasts all across the country. We pay close attention to severe weather, and we also bring you the latest Doppler radar imagery so that you can actually see the showers that are affecting uh, your neighbors and your neck of the woods. So if we take a closer look at uh, the uh, weather precipitation model across the continental United States, uh, we can actually see that um, uh, going into uh, the latter part of the week, there should be showers um, all across the continental United States as far as the southeast is concerned. Uh, there's a low pressure system that's kind of anchored over the region of um, uh, just, a, just a little bit near the area four corners of New Mexico, Colorado. Um, also, we're looking at um, uh, precipitation along the area for um, uh, the Great Plains states, um, looking at Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri. Uh, we do see a band of significant showers um, in the region of central Oklahoma going up into Kansas. Um, but we're paying close attention to that low pressure system as it approaches the four corners uh, those states as it makes its way further we can actually see a distinct dry line that's actually um, for the outflow boundary along the region um, as this system actually makes its way uh, more with unstable air towards the mid-south and lower ohio valley but we are forecasting severe storms uh, for the region as far as um, uh, central Texas as well as West Texas. Uh, if we take a closer look also at um, the, the forecast for the Storm Prediction Center at this time, uh, we can actually see that um, uh, based on the advisories all across the country, we do have some uh, regions that are pretty much lining up with that low pressure system that was um, above the state of, of, of Arizona, uh, just to the west of New Mexico. And we can see that, that there's a distinct line there um, that is actually in the marginal zone. And uh, for marginal zone, we are looking at uh, the regions for uh, Houston, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, um, Dallas, Texas, Austin, Texas, and Memphis, Tennessee, for uh, anticipating um, severe thunderstorm activity with increased uh, risk of large hail as well as um, more severe thunderstorms. Um, and also there's an injection of low, low level moisture in the region. So we do anticipate that um, in the regions for the uh, marginal threat that we do see that there's gonna be quite a bit of of um, activity in that region. If we take a closer look at for day one risk in a slight region, uh, we do see a telltale sign where there have been severe thunderstorms in the region of southeast New Mexico that have been plaguing many farmers, uh, especially with large hail that have wiped out reports of wiping out significant amount of um, crops due to significant um, hail and thunderstorm activity. Uh, it's very, very unusual for that area of the state, southeast New Mexico, uh, also into west, um, uh, west Texas, uh, and also the Texas Panhandle. Um, as far as uh, severe weather is concerned, uh, we are taking a closer look at some severe weather um, all across the country. If we actually go to our, our radar, uh, we can actually see um, for the region of South Florida, um, significant radar um, act shower activity in the region of uh, Lake Okeechobee, uh, just north of West Palm Beach as far, and also uh, reports of severe uh, thunderstorm activity just south of Cape Coral um, in the region of uh, Fort Myers, Naples region. And we do anticipate that there'll be an additional thunderstorm activity uh, going into the going into the remainder of the uh, of the evening, going into the night. We anticipate more severe thunderstorms. But we anticipated from our forecast yesterday that um, from central to south Florida there will be uh, significant weather activity. We can see some really powerful thunderstorm cells in the region of just north of Jupiter, Florida, 
and also uh, making its way more into the central uh, central Florida uh, we're also taking a closer look also at um, severe weather in the region of the Carolinas um, here we actually see a tornado watch and that is actually uh, just a little bit to the uh, west of the city of Jacksonville in, um, in North Carolina um, between Jacksonville and Fayetteville and, uh, and just south of the Raleigh area severe thunderstorm activity earlier but this was actually a severe zone of tornado um, tornado possibility with hail large hail and also uh, uh, strong gusting winds so a tornado advisory was issued for this region uh, we can actually see that the storms are actually moving their way to the north east um, going further into the region um, into the mid-atlantic states uh, into the northeast but this was actually forecasted based on our uh, storm prediction model for yesterday and we anticipated that there would be more severe uh, weather activity going into the, um, going into uh, going into the, today um, one of the alarming things that we need to take a closer look at are these temperatures uh, significant temperatures uh, max temperatures this is a max temperature forecast all across the country we can see that uh, significant storm activity uh, strong um, high heat zone in the region of uh, in California maximum temperatures in the region um, in central uh, California of 108 107 we anticipated for Wednesday that um, Wednesday and Thursday that uh, Phoenix Arizona and and um, Las Vegas Nevada they were going to see residents there were going to see uh, temperatures to the tune of 104 to 107 and we can see a warming trend all along the west coast even all the way up to portland oregon in the mid 90s uh, we do see some spots in in uh, along the florida panhandle 95 degrees near gainesville and uh, 92 degrees near daytona beach um, as far as south florida is concerned we are still in the in the mid 80s for miami and uh, central texas uh, we're looking at in the in the 80s um, there's still a little bit of warmer air in the region of Colorado and Wyoming but for the most part most of the nation as far as max temperatures are concerned are in the low in the, especially in the Northeast um, states such as Illinois I, uh, Iowa and Indiana and Ohio uh, they're looking at temperatures in uh, in the upper max temperatures in the upper 60s and mid 70s but um, the situation is pretty pretty grim as far as temperatures max temperatures are concerned across the continental United States and uh, it's almost as if we're getting a feeling of summer well in advance of actually it's starting um, before the summer act the summer season actually starts but as you can see those temperatures for the Gulf of Mexico are lining up with the that 80 cutoff 80 degrees Fahrenheit cutoff which is uh, what we're is indicative of the hurricane season starting so we are in full mode and we anticipate quite a few named storms and they've also done a supplemental list uh, using regular names instead of the Greek names for supplementals going in uh, for the, uh, the hurricane season this year uh, we should also take a closer look at our dew points because the dew points will actually tell us on a dew point forecast a little bit more as far as we're to anticipate storms we are anticipating more s storms where there's saturation upper midpoint uh, dew points in the mid texas region um, we're looking at uh, 64 uh, 64 degrees for dew point in the central area near dallas uh, houston mid 60s um, we're also seeing dew points along uh, Louisiana, but uh, if you can look along the coast of Louisiana, we anticipate more rain for the region of New Orleans with uh, upper uh, mid-70 dew points. And the dew point, um, uh, dew point forecast pretty much extends all the way up through the lower Mississippi Valley as well as Ohio Valley. You see the mid-60 dew points and all along the coast of Carolinas and that's where we saw that tornado uh, tornado advisory earlier today where there was a, um, a tornado advisory and uh, the dew points in that region for the 
for the uh, East Coast are in the mid 60s um, all the way up into Pennsylvania so we anticipate more severe thunderstorms in that region but we're primarily looking at due to the low level moisture in the region and escalating uh, Cape values a little bit 2,000 uh, above 2,000 joules per kilogram in a region along the coast of Houston uh, going into central Texas we anticipate more uh, severe thunderstorms in that region um, going into the, the remainder of the day but we do want to make a special advisory for um, uh, residents um, in the region of uh, uh, Houston Texas San Antonio Texas Dallas, Texas, Austin, Texas, and Memphis, Tennessee to be a little bit more aware of the weather in your neck of the woods going into this evening as well as tonight. Uh, we anticipate more severe weather and as far as more of a severe risk would be in the zone of Midland, Texas, Odessa, Texas, San Helo, Texas, Hobbs, New Mexico also as well as Big Spring, Texas. And we anticipate more severe th uh, storm activity in the region um, going into uh, the remainder of the evening uh, we can see that um, based on the the storm prediction model um, we do anticipate that there's going to be more severe thunderstorm activity um, in the central texas going into the southwest texas as well as southeast new mexico so that is actually what we're working on here on Bound, Bound News Network for our weather update for today, June 2nd, uh, 2021, 2021. And we are now in the hurricane season. So we're gonna be monitoring the radar. We're gonna be monitoring the weather in the Caribbean Ocean as well as the Gulf of Mexico. And also, um, going to be taking a closer look at all of the different elements that actually go into uh, what's going to be happening with the weather as far as the start of the hurricane season uh, based on the um, weather service we do anticipate a very active weather season so this is a very very good time to actually get prepared with uh, um, all the necessary um, uh, don't try and miss the rush as far as getting supplies uh, you should have at least five to ten gallons of water stored away uh, in a safe place in your home in case the the water is uh, you loss of um, loss of utilities and also you should prepare for uh, dry food in the event of um, a significant hurricane where uh, lack of access to food and water which is very very common and uh, definitely we want to make sure that all of our subscribers and friends of subscribers and family of our subscribers are well prepared for this hurricane season but in the meantime uh, let's prepare for this heat zone that is actually uh, enve uh, enveloping uh, most of the southwest as well as the southeast uh, states uh, hopefully we'll, things will start to cool down for a bit but we are entering the summer season very very shortly in a matter of weeks so this is just going to be a um, ongoing uh, issue as we prepare to to buckle down into this more uh, of a heat zone but we will continue to monitor the weather here at bound news network and we will bring you the latest information um, going forward um, and, uh, and as always please remember to bow to the weather we do appreciate all of our subscribers here at bound news network have a great day